Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Disney executives. Leave it to Disney to provide us the best drama and entertainment they have in years, albeit off screen, as new, more credible rumors are circulating that Star Wars boss Kathleen Kennedy is stepping down. Now, according to the Direct, after 10 years in the position, Kathleen Kennedy's reign at Lucasfilm is rumored to be coming to an end in 2023. Yes, yes, we've heard this before, and the rumor comes from YouTuber John Campia, so take it as you will. But if true, the news would be pretty convenient, coming on the heels of the announcement that CEO Bob Chapek was unceremoniously dropped for CEO Bob Iger. It was Hollywood Reporter who scooped that story and the embarrassing details surrounding Chapek's exit within months of his contract's expiration, namely that he didn't get to say goodbye, he didn't get to release your standard statement, that whole, I've decided to step down for X, Y, Z reason, I want to spend time with family, you know, whatever, the thing they always say. Chapek literally got a call, and during that call, he was told, you're out. You're fired. He was also told, our lawyers will call your lawyers, which suggests that whatever repercussions there are for his firing, a hefty severance package, breach of contract liability, they're willing to suffer it so long as it means he's gone at whatever price. And you have to wonder whether they've come to the same conclusion about Kathleen Kennedy. The decades long president at Lucasfilm has managed to tank an IP that would have had this company printing money in more capable hands. Star Wars has gotten so bad that Andor, probably its best product in the Disney era, has gone nearly completely ignored by apathetic fans. Insiders say the change in leadership at Disney felt inevitable, and sure, many fans felt the same. Disney has been mass producing absolute trash as of late, and hasn't exactly been welcoming of fans or guests to its theme parks. One of the most astonishing things, kind of speaking to Chapek's uh, incapability of running the company, during the summer when they were talking about the theme park business, he referred to the, quote, unfavorable attendance mix at Disney World. That is right up there with basket of deplorables. <laughs> Yeah, when he's talking about yeah. the unfavorable attendance mix, essentially accusing people who have annual passes to Disney as being unfavorable because they don't spend enough money when they go into the park. I, I'm surprised it took this long for the board to fire him. Moreover, Hollywood Reporter claims Disney insiders were upset with JPEG for wholly different reasons than what fans were upset about. Namely, JPEG's intent to focus on cutting costs and making money, things fans want. His first act in that direction would have been massive layoffs. You have to wonder if there was a campaign inside to get rid of him at once. Now Bob Iger is back and people outside and in are split on what it could mean. My concern has more to do with why. Does his return speak to the quality of his work and that apparently the higher ups at Disney have come to some unspoken understanding of what needs to be done to make money, to make the company more profitable in the future? Or could it reflect the fact that Disney is simply so broken, so corrupt and inept that they couldn't even conceive of any other option? Maybe they realize Kathleen Kennedy has to go, but they're unwilling to cut ties with her vision. And if she does go, if these rumors are right, then whomever follows in her footsteps may just be a thousand times worse. But what do you think? Does the Bob Swap signal change at Disney or more of the same? And what do you think KK's plans are next? What will it mean for Lucasfilm, for Star Wars? Let's discuss in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.